Hello there! Do you want to learn how to add an OAuth login to your Pocketbase and Svelte application? In this video, we will add the OAuth flow based on the auth system we created two videos ago. It's also an addition to the email and password login of the last video. So check both of these videos out if you haven't yet. But for now, Let's go. But before we can start the actual development, we have to get the credentials for our OAuth provider. In this case, I will do the OAuth credentials for Google, but you can also do it for GitHub or whatever you want to add. To get the credentials, we first have to go to console.cloud.google.com and create a new project called Expense Tracker. After the project is created, we go to APIs and Services. Here we click on Create Credentials and select OAuth Client ID. It now prompts us to configure a consent screen. So here we enter the required information. Select the non-sensitive scope of userinfo.email and then finish the setup. Now we can head back to credentials and create them by clicking on the button and selecting OAuth client ID. Here we now enter application type web app, name expense tracker, authorized JavaScript origins localhost 5173, and authorized redirect URIs localhost 5173 of callback Google. Then we click on create. At a later point, you will need to update the last two properties when deploying your application. But we will also come to that at a later point. Now copy both the client ID and client secret and store them somewhere safe. Next, we open our Pocketbase instance and there we go to Auth Providers. Here we select Google and enter both the client ID and secret. And with that, you have added your OAuth credentials to Pocketbase. In the next step, we will now use them to create the OAuth login flow. Before we create the actual login flow, we add the buttons to the user interface so that our users can interact with it. To do so, we first update the load function. We add two new variables, of methods, which is a collection of all our of OAuth providers, and fail, which checks if the URL contains fail, which we will add when an unexpected error happens. Then we return them both to the front end page.svelte. Next, we update the actual page. Here we update the error message to show in case data.fail is true. And if so, display that there was a problem with OAuth. Then we add a new form below our email password login. Inside the form, we create buttons for all of our auth providers. Each button has a form action with the name of the provider. As you might have guessed after the last post, we now have to add this action. So let's open our page.server.ts in the login route and add a new action called Google. In the action, we first get the actual provider, then set it as an HTTP only cookie meaning that it will be only available on the server side. Next, we redirect the user to the off screen with a redirect URL consisting of our redirect URL and the provider name. The redirect URL is an environment variable, so let's add it to our .env file. The value we use for it is redirect URL localhost 5173 of callback. And together with the provider, our complete redirect URL is 
localhost 5173 of callback Google. This route currently does not exist. So the next step is to add this route. As we want to use this route for all of our providers, we will create it using a slug. A slug is basically a URL variable that we can access. So let's create it under off callback provider slug. And this time we only need the server.ts file. Additionally, remember to add the slash off prefix to the unprotected prefix array in our hooks.server.ts. Inside server.ts, we will create a new get request, which first retrieves the cookie we set before, checks that the state in the URL from Google and the state in the provider match, and then signs the user in with the OAuth data. If this fails, the user is redirected to log in with question mark fail equals true. And if everything works, he is redirected to slash login from where he should go to slash dashboard. But before this will actually work, we have to replace the last three lines of our authentication function inside of hooks.server.ts with the following ones, where we basically set the same site property of export to cookie to legs. To learn more about that, check the answer in the GitHub discussion linked in the description. And with that, we've set up a working Google OAuth login. Next, we will do some general additional changes to our project, like adding the functionality to logout and some other stuff. So let's go. The first thing we add is the possibility to sign out. For this, we will add yet another form action to our actions object in login page.server.ts. The function is called logout. It logs the user out and then redirects him back to the route slash login. Next, we will add the dashboard screen. For this, we will create a new route called dashboard with the files page.svelte and page.server.ts. Inside page.server.ts, we will load the current user and send it to page.svelte. As you can see, we need a function called serialize non pogos. We will create it inside a new file called libutils.ts. The function itself creates a structured clone. Lastly, we will visualize the user and add the possibility to log out. For this, we will open page.svelte and in here show the user email inside a p-tag. Next, we create a new form with the form action slash login question mark slash logout. This basically means call the named function logout in the route login. Inside the form, we have a simple button that performs the form action. And with that, we have both the OAuth flow and some additional changes done. As you can see here, we can see the email of the logged in user and we are also able to log out again. In the description, you can find a link to the GitHub repository containing our code. The current version is on branch course minus four. In the next part, we will finally start working with the data and the structures that we set up in the first part. So I hope you're looking forward to that too. I hope you enjoy the course so far. And if you do, please give my channel a subscribe and like the video. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments and Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.